Hey guys, welcome back to uh, my channel. Um, I'm Alicia Lyons and I have been unpacking uh, the mom guilt toolbox. Um, the first of which is generosity, uh, being generous, generous with your love, self care and time. Um, today I'm going to start our, um, the second tool is, which is understanding and the first, um, First thing to understand uh, as a parent, as a mom, is um, to understand that your children choose you as to be their parent. So um, a couple years ago, I heard of a grief counselor who had um, who had lost her husband. She was very young. He was very young. And um, she woke up next to him uh, at, uh, in their 30s and he had died in his sleep. And she went on a two year um, alcohol drug bender um, in, through, through the grieving of her husband. Um, and one day she fell asleep and she had a dream where she saw her soul in God's waiting room. And God said, who wants to teach people how to grieve? And her soul raised its hand and went down to earth. And then God said, who wants to teach her how to grieve? And her husband raised his hand and went down. I get chills every time I think about this story because there's a lot of, um, I don't know, empowerment for me that comes along with the idea that my soul chose the path that I'm on. And when I was talking to a friend the other day, um, I was telling her about how that story didn't always give me peace. Um, Actually, that story, I think, always gave me peace. Um, but uh, in our community, we talk about how, um, as a mom, like, we would choose to go through the things that we went through in our life a hundred times over to protect our kids from having to go through it. Um, but in my case, you know, I didn't have this experience of, um, being uh, inappropriately touched, uh, and um, and my son did, um, which is is uh, the if you're if you haven't watched my what is mom guilt video, um, I kind of go into a lot of detail about about that experience and how I got to um, where um, where I am today, and where the mom guilt toolbox came in and everything, and so. Um, since I had not gone through it, and he did, there was, there was a lot of guilt around just that fact, um, because I would have gone through it a hundred times over so that he didn't have to. Um, and so when I was talking to my friends and, um, and telling her about that, I said, but I think that his soul um, volunteered to put my soul back on course um, and to ignite a fire inside of me. Um, he, in once I thought about that and made that connection, there was a whole shift that I felt inside me that um, that's not the only time that he, that him being my son has been a course uh, correction for me. Um, so anyway, the understanding that our children, um, that they choose us as parents, there's something that they're supposed to learn from us. Um, or even in this case, which is something I hadn't thought of when I wrote the blog about this, um, there's something that they're supposed to do in our lives. And when we understand that there's a higher wisdom, a higher power that, that understands all of this, I think it gives us peace 
for the explanation of what goes on in our lives. Like the things that happen to us, the things that happen to them. Um, when you have this kind of understanding um, about, you know, our souls choosing the paths, the things that we end up beating ourselves up for are, um, it's, it's, it's unnecessary because we can learn from our mistakes. They can learn from our mistakes. Um, we can forgive ourselves for those mistakes because they're really not mistakes. Um, one of the things that we love to do is we love to romanticize the past. Um, so one example that uh, my brother and I were talking about recently was, um, you know, my dad had the opportunity to uh, be a pastor on the coast. And he was also offered a job um, to be a pastor in the town where my mom lived. So um, we grew up where my, my mom and dad lived about an hour apart. Um, my dad would pick us up on Friday and bring us home uh, to his house. And then my mom would pick us up from his house on Sunday and we would go home. So uh, when my brother and I were talking about, oh, he should have gone to the coast because our life would have been so much better um, because we would have lived on the coast for the you know latter half of our childhood. And I thought, yeah, like we could have, like it could have been this beautiful romantic picture of living on the coast, but more than likely my other brother might probably wouldn't have met his wife. Um, you know, we may ne never have seen my dad again because an hour from my mom is driving to and from and, and back and forth. It's a lot different than three hours driving back and forth every single Friday and every single Sunday. Like that would have been a really big strain. And eventually it would have been easier if we'll just skip this weekend and this weekend turns into next weekend, next weekend turns into the following weekend. So um, yeah, we could have had this amazing, you know, living on the coast experience and we could have experienced never seeing our dad again. Um, so keep that in mind when, when you look at the past and think, oh, I should have done X, Y, Z. Um, cause one of the things that I've felt guilty about is, um, splitting up from my son's dad. And had I not, um, like, I mean, there's the obvious one of if I hadn't married him, then I wouldn't have my son. Um, but there's a lot of experiences that my son has had now that he wouldn't have had if I had stayed married. Um, Number one, I'm in a happier and healthier relationship and he gets to experience that where I didn't have that healthy relationship with his dad. Um, so there's a lot of better um, experiences that he's had because of the divorce. Um, there's a lot of experiences that I had in my life because my parents divorced. I wouldn't have my younger brother and sister. I wouldn't have have my stepsister, there's, you know, and the relationships that I have with my step parents now, you know, there's when you're a kid, yeah, we want our parents together, but I can look back and see what I would have missed out on if my parents had stayed together. Um, so once again, like my, my point in, in a lot of the mom guilt toolbox is to free yourself from the burden of this gift or of this guilt, because there, there are gifts inside of our negative experiences, just like there's gifts inside our positive experiences. Um, but ultimately, I think we appreciate the gifts inside the negative experiences significantly more if we can choose to find them and to, and, and to embrace them. So, um, that's all I have for you in today's video. Um, I hope you found this uh, helpful. Um, if you would like some more information about this, uh, you can go to my blog, which is located at alishalyons.com. 
and um, I will see you next time.